Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today I am here with another Sure Cuts A Lot 3 video and I thought it would be a good idea today to go over some of the features that you'll see in the path menu here. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have an SVG file um, up on my screen here and we'll get to that in a minute but I want to um, work with some other images here first before we do that. So I'm just bringing in a couple of basic shapes. Uh, let's bring that in. And we'll make this one a little bit bigger too. Okay, so I've got two shapes on my screen here right now. And you can see that the diamond shape is overlapping the rounded rectangle shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select both of these shapes. Now, you probably already know that if you go to Path Union, it's going to weld these two together to make one shape instead of two. Uh, so now let's talk about some of these other ones in here. For example, Intersection. If I select this, what's going to happen is that only the area where the two shapes are overlapping will appear. So you can see that right there. Let's go back here so you can take a look. So only this section right here is what you get when you do an intersection. Now if we go to exclude, then what happens is it takes that section and actually makes it like a cutout in the middle. Now when you do this, you'll see that this is all one shape now. It's not like you can separate these two apart. So that's a very, very important thing to um, recognize there. Uh, let me just go back so we have our shapes again. There we go. And so now the very next thing in that menu is front minus back. Now since my diamond is on the front, what you're going to see here is that the shape that was behind it actually cut out a section of the shape that was in front. And this is a very useful thing for especially if you are working with an SVG where you want to um, make some changes to it. Um, you can always do some overlapping shapes here and use these features. So let me go ahead and go back here. So now the other option is back minus front. So what you'll see here is that we'll keep this rounded rectangle but it'll cut out this portion where the diamond is overlapping. And there you go, you can see that there. So that is a very useful thing to have. And I'm just going to show you one way that, like, I use this kind of thing, too, a lot, is let's say I'm working with this stocking here, and I don't want to have that little tab at the top, is I can do like this, and let me go ahead and scroll up here and get both of these shapes selected. And then I can do, let's see, so this is on top, so I want back minus front. And there you go, and see it took out that tab for me. So that's uh, one of the very quick and easy ways that you can like alter your SVGs is by using those path features. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about the simplify feature that's also on this menu. If we got this SVG here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the simplify button, we get this um, box. Now you'll see here that it's showing 42 nodes and then if we do a simplify on it with this threshold setting it's actually going to give us 45 nodes so it's going to actually throw in a few extra nodes. This is really designed for when you have an SVG where there's a lot of nodes in there that you want to eliminate. So just for example, I'm going to show you, if I raise this threshold here to say 80 and hit preview, you can now see that we went from 42 to 27 nodes. But you can also kind of see that this area here, like around the top of the uh, stocking, is not quite the same shape that it once was. When you eliminate nodes like this, sometimes you may lose some of the shape. It's basically going to be there but it may not show as much detail um, as it did before. It may simplify the curves a lot, so that's something to keep in mind there. Um, so the 20 is the preset that scale comes with. 
Um, I, in my personal opinion is that there's very rarely times when I use this feature, but mainly it's when I get SVGs from um, bloggers and, and stuff like that, that maybe they have just a few too many nodes in there, and those nodes mean that it's going to cut slower, so sometimes actually it's better to have more nodes. It just kind of depends on what it is you're cutting and what you're cutting it on. Um, so this can help you a little bit with controlling the nodes in an SVG file. Uh, this reverse path feature, I'm not really quite sure what this does. I think that what it does is instead of cutting in one direction, it will reverse it so it cuts in the other direction. Um, so that could I, could, I guess, could be useful depending on what it is you're trying to cut and if you're having trouble with it. Um, you, that might be something you want to try. I've never had to use it, in all honesty, so I really can't attest to how well it works or not. Um, so that is the path menu here in Shortcuts sure a lot. And uh, I also have today a video for the rest of you eCrafters on the eCraft Design Team blog, so make sure that you go there and check that out. It's a lot of fun. And gr thanks for stopping by today. This is Denise with Purple Paper Paradise, and I hope you have a great day and happy holidays.